Welcome back to another Randonautica tonight. Tonight, it's been a while, and we are doing an all at night Randonautica, all in the dark, all going by the moonlight. I think we got not a full moon out, but a, a pretty decently sized moon out tonight. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a Randonautica in the dark. We haven't done one of these in forever. Randonautica by flashlight. It's going to be sick. I got. I don't have any intentions picked out. I was I was about to lie and say that I did, but I don't. Um, so we're gonna pick some out. Anyways, let's get into the video. Alright guys, welcome back to another Random Nautica. I'm sorry, it's been a while. Uh, we are going to get this one started right though. We're going to get it started right. Um, guys, if you're new here, if you're brand new to this channel, if this is the first video that you've seen, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button, and join us on all our crazy Random Nautica adventures. Guys, you returning subscribers, you know the drill. You know the drill. Make sure you go down there, hit that like button, um, and hit that share button. Also guys, if you wouldn't mind, I need, I need a favor from you guys. Blow this video up, okay? If you like seeing these randonauticas, if you want me to keep making these randonauticas, going on these adventures, crazy adventures, make sure to blow this video up. Hit, Make sure to hit that like. Don't forget, make sure to share the video. Put the good word out. I know a lot of you do, and I am so appreciative of that. But make sure to blow this video up if you want to, if you want to see me keep doing randonauticas. Um, I need, I need, you know, I need... I need the curse crew. I need the curse crew's help um, on this one. So, guys, but yeah, everybody, thank you. And just thank you for being here and watching. Anyways, uh, let's address for your returning subscribers what may look a little different. Guys, uh, this it may look a little bit different where I'm at because I finally got a new car. Um, and you guys know how much I hated the Honda CRZ I had. I always complain about how much I hated it. Like you couldn't, you couldn't tune into a cursed urban video and not hear me complain about the uh, about the Honda. So I finally got rid of it, pulled the trigger, and got a new vehicle. And I got a Nissan Armada Platinum. Um, a very solid vehicle. Love it. Love being back in a big SUV. Uh, I can go off road. It's actually fat. Not, I wouldn't say it's fast, but it's faster than the CRZ. Then again. Like a child probably riding one of those plastic big wheels this was faster than the CRZ, but uh, yeah, it's it's moderately quick. Um, it can go off road. It's got all sorts of amenities. Um, so yeah, we got we got a new vehicle to do some random nautica in, uh, and it's it's good. It's good. Uh, yeah. So um, that's that's where I'm at. That's why things look different. That's why you don't see. Um, that's why you don't see. Uh, uh, the normal view of, of, I don't know, I don't know what you guys see. Anyways, uh, so we got some intentions to pick out, and guys, if you're brand new here, like brand new, I'm talking brand new. Like if you're, if this is the first Randonautica video that you've ever watched, I'll give you a little rundown of how this works. This Randonautica works. It's an app, and it's an app on your phone called Randonautica. What you do is you go and you set a point, uh, or you set an intent. The intent can be a, a an object, something you want, something you want to see, something that interests you. Pretty much, it's limitless on these intents. And what you do is you press you press this button on the app, let it, and then think of an intent or say your intent, and then it'll generate a point on a map where supposedly your intent will be, or something like it. Um, of course, you know we get crazy stuff for these intents we get some scary stuff we get some stalkers we get you know a whole bunch of stuff with these intents that's why we do these videos um but yeah so tonight i'm gonna be running three intentions as usual i've not picked them out yet so we're gonna do that together um and a couple things about it uh so we're gonna be doing these intents and 
I just lost my train of thought. I don't remember what I was going to say. I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, that's it. Okay, guys, so if you haven't seen these videos yet again, one thing that we've been dealing with is Randonautica stalkers. We've been getting these stalkers coming after us, harassing us, threatening us, assaulting us in some cases. And we've had, a lot of people have had this theory. And it's, well, it's not just a theory, it's a fact, because it's been proven multiple times that these stalkers like to put trackers on our cars. They like know what we drive, they know where we're going, everything like that. Well, I've got a new car, so I am fairly certain that it should be tracker-free unless I bought it from Stalker Warehouse uh, Surplus or something. I don't, I, I don't think I did, but um, yeah, we got, we got a new car doing random knock-in, so I want to see if we have any encounters with Stalkers tonight, because the thing is, the thing is, um, with Stalkers... They are very active at night. During the day, I don't I don't get a lot of stalkers. I don't get a lot of people uh, hassling me on random autos. But at night is when they all come out, always. So this is kind of a, a trial run to see see what's going on. So let me find an intent. We'll get it set up, and uh, we'll get going. We'll get we'll get over there. Um, Trying to find a better place to plug my phone in at because this this USB I got is not charging my phone fast at all. Anyways, um, okay, let's bring up YouTube first, guys. If you want to leave me any intentions, make sure to go to my last or not my last this Randonautica video, this Randonautica video right here right now. Leave me those intentions in the comments. Leave them for me down there, and while you're down there, of course, like I say, make sure to like, make sure to like, and leave a comment. Leaving a comment makes makes you know all the difference in the world, um, in terms of YouTube. But yeah, okay. So let's see. Let's let's bring up these comments. See what we got. Okay. All right. We're gonna do one from. We're gonna do one from Al. Al Watson. Al, thank you very much for leaving your intentions. Hopefully, you, yeah, there we go. It's focusing on you. Al, we're going to do your intent of... I don't have a metal detector. Uh... Okay, you got, you got a bunch of good ones. I'm, I'm just trying to, like, pick one. We're going to do Forgotten Relics. I think we did something similar on the last video, but I, I really like that one. Yeah, we did something like that. I think we did historical artifacts on the last one. That's when I got that that really heavy crucifix that I found on that tree. So, uh, what was it? Let me find exactly what it was. Forgotten relics. All right, dude, we're going to do yours. All right, thank you, Al. Appreciate that. Got my free all tokens generating. Forgotten relics. Forgotten relics. Forgotten Relics. And we got one. We got Forgotten Relics. Alright, let's, uh, let's drive on over there. See what we get. Alright guys, give me a little peek at the new car. But that's not why you're here. That's not why you're here, right? We're here for intentions to find spooky, crazy stuff, which we may or may not. All right now, it's led us to a river. In fact, we've been to this river once before. That's where, this is where we found, same, almost same location, except further down that way. That's where we found, uh, uh, what, what was it? Oh, something crazy. A bunch of clam shells. I know that doesn't sound crazy, but if you knew the reasoning behind it, it was. Anyways, we're looking around here for a forgotten relic. Let me bring up this brightness so you guys can actually see. There we go. Alright, and it's really nasty, it's really wet, it's really disgusting out here tonight. 
it looks like. I think, I can't remember, did we get some rain? I can't remember if we got rain or something recently that just made this area kind of like miserable. Uh, I'm literally on the point guys. I'm literally right here on the point. The point is this little sandbar on the shore. Forgotten relic. I mean, forgotten relic could mean honestly anything. You know, it doesn't have to be something historical. It could have been, it could be, you know, something a fisherman left behind when he was fishing. It could have been something like a family left after their picnic. Um, a relic doesn't necessarily mean something old. But, oh, there's something silver there though. Something silver down there. Let's see what it is. Let's see if this is our forgotten relic. Some some skull thing. Bro, I'm trying. Dude, I hate this light. There we go. This makes anything better. No, it just makes it worse. Son. Son of a... I'm trying to show you guys what I found. And everything is just working against me for it. There we go. So it looks like... A skull ring. Yeah, it looks like a, yeah, it's a skull ring. I certainly say that is definitely a forgotten relic, right? I wonder if it fits. See if it fits my finger. Oh, it does. Look at that. It fits my finger. Dope. Dude, that's sick. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Do you, can I can I pull off a can I pull off a ring? A ring's made for me. Can I pull off this edgy skull ring that I found during Randonautica? That's sick. Okay, let's keep looking in case there's anything else out here. So I'm not sure if there is, but thank you. Uh, I think it was Al, right? Al, thank you for your attention. Definitely got uh, Al Watson, I believe, right? That's that's a cool find. That's a really cool find. And and uh, and that it fits me. That's even better. Like that's that's pretty cool. It's yeah. It feels like it feels good. Like it feels like it's not gonna just fall off. There's not much. There's not much to go, guys. Cause like in my last video where I was out this way, I was able to go all the way down there. Um, up by those trees. I don't think you can really see them, but there's a bunch of trees down there about 50 yards I was able to walk all the way down there But now it's just like the water has come up so much and it's moving really fast. So Maybe maybe somewhere up north got a lot of rain and it's coming down this river or maybe I don't know Maybe it's something else. I, I'm not too sure honestly, but uh Yeah Guys, I, I don't know. I'm not really seeing anything else, though. I'm trying to avoid, like, getting my shoes money. Let me look over here. If we don't find anything, we'll say the ring is the forgotten relic. And head back to the car. Yeah, I literally do not see anything. I think that's it. I think the forgotten relic was my, uh, or was, was this ring. So what we're gonna do now is we'll set another intention 
right on the beach. How about that? Sir, nobody's going to be opposed if we set another intention out here. Right? Right. Let's do it. Hopefully my camera does not slide down this rock and break. But yeah, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Can I pull off a ring? Or does it look stupid on me? Be honest. Be honest. Should I get some rings or do they look dumb? Give, give, give me the truth straight up. You're not going to offend me. Alright, let me find another intent. Alright, where are we at? Where are we at? YouTube. Yeah, Al Watson. Al, thank you very much, my friend. Appreciate your intent. I appreciate the cool new ring. Alright, next one. Next one. Alright, we got, uh, we got Hat Man. Hat Man 2424 Cursed. Thank you, Hat Man. And guys, if, uh, if you see people like Cursed in their name or Cursed Crew in their name, that's kind of like our, our clan tag. So if you feel like being part of the Curse Crew, please, you don't need permission, you don't need to be a patron, you don't need to be a, a member, nothing. If you simply just like the videos and want to let everybody know that you're running with the Curse Crew, add that to your name in YouTube, in Discord, wherever you want. Add, you know, John Doe Cursed Crew. Like, feel free. Um, it's cool. It's cool to have people doing that. All right. Um, we're going to do uh, Hat Man's Intention of... Uh, Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Zapper. Like, like zapper, like bzz. That sounds like a good one, right? I think it sounds like a good one. All right, we got Rananautica up. Generate zapper. But it's going to, like, take me to, like, some telephone lines. Maybe it'll take me, like, a taser or something cool. I don't know. I got a good start with this ring, though. That's dope. Well, it certainly is not a, uh, a telephone pole. I don't know what this is. Huh, it's way back. And it's not way back. It's off the road a little ways. But All right, guys. Let's go, uh, let's go find out what Zapper is. Um, dude, I had, I had the camera right on this on this rock it's like as you can see like it like curves like if you look at it straight it like slopes down and as i grabbed the camera i just went <laughs> like like bro it was gonna it was gonna straight up slide off <laughs> not good not good for camera it would not be uh would not be appreciating that very much at all but i just let old boy slide off and smash on the rocks Honestly, I love doing Night Ran and Nautica because I love the vibes. Except when the crazy stuff starts happening, then it's annoying, but other than that, Night Ran and Nauticas are awesome. It's got those creepy vibes. Of course, gotta wipe my wipe my feet as best as I can because I just got a new car. And uh yeah, there she, there she kind of is. I see. I'll give you guys a better look in the daylight. Maybe I'll do a live and give you a tour of the car. But all right, we're heading to the next spot. Let's see what we find. All right, we pull up to the next spot, and it's crazy out here. We're right by a, right by a quarry or stone crushers or something like a concrete factory and it's still working it's like 10 like about 10 at night and it's still they're still working out here man they're we're in the midnight oil there goes some of the trucks there goes, some, there goes another one of the trucks right now all right we're looking for zapper we're in the vicinity of uh, the intent right now. 
zapper. Guys, place your bets in the comments right now. What do you think zapper is? What do you think it could be? Oh, I see something actually. Yo, dude, that looks like somebody's hoodie. Bro, that looks like somebody's hoodie, like, shredded, man. I honestly, I don't want to touch it. What could that be? Who could that be from? It's just really weird to have, like, a hoodie just over here, you know? It looks like it's... It doesn't look like it was blown over here by any means. Cause like, if you see, it looks like it was placed on that branch. It looks like it was set there by someone. It doesn't look like, you know, just blew over here by the wind. I don't know. Somebody may have lost it. Maybe somebody put it there or maybe it got torn off somebody. I don't know. Dude, that's creepy though. That is, I don't like that. What I really don't like, believe it or not, is that quarry working over there. I'm trying to see if it'll zoom into the quarry. There we go. You say, why? Why don't you like that quarry working over there? Well, I tell you why. Because I don't like that quarry working because it's a lot of sound. It's a lot of sound. That means I can't hear somebody sneak up on me. That means I can't hear anybody moving around out here. That's why I don't like that running. One well, of the problems we've had with stalkers and these trucks going by, these big trucks, big 18 wheelers, dude, I can't hear a thing. Like, if somebody ran ran up on me down that trail, I'd never hear it until it's too late. Zap. Oh, we got something. Here we got something. It's weird. Weird. Looks like an owl. It is an owl. Like a skeleton owl. That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's, that's kind of neat. Skeleton owl. <laughs> like, like he's dressed up for Halloween. Or like that scene in, uh, that scene in uh, Home Alone 2. Where it's Harry and Marv and Harry grabs the uh grabs the uh um the uh the sink that's hick that's hooked up that kevin hooked up to the welder <laughs> and zaps him with like electricity oh that's dude zapper no okay okay yeah it's like oh whoops it's like the owl got got electrocuted home alone two style zapper okay I mean, I think I'm kind of going out on a stretch to make that work, but, uh, I mean, it kind of fits, right? Zapper got zapped by electricity. That's cool. All right, I'm keeping this one. I'm going to hang this up and, uh, hang this up next to my other Rannonautica stuff. And I've seen these before, too, these, uh, these owl, um, blanks. I think at the dollar store, maybe, you can paint them yourself or, you know, wood burn them or whatever. And I've seen different ones like owls, like leaves, uh, Santa, stuff like that. So maybe someone who was painting them out here and they forgot. Or maybe it was straight up just for me to find for Rannonautica. But yeah, no, that's a good one. That's a good intention right there. I'm happy with that. Zapper, like I said, it might be... It might be kind of, you know, a far fetch or a far stretch to say 
to say zapper. You know what I mean? Like, me, that's not what applies to y'all, but that's, that's what it reminds me of. That Home Alone 2 scene where Marv gets zapped. All right, cool. Well, I'm gonna set my next intention closer to the vehicle, uh, cause I am, yo, I just heard voices. I don't know if it's workers or what, but I heard voices for sure. I'm gonna set my next intention closer to the vehicle. So, uh, just in case I need to take off. We're gonna start our third and final intention. So far, it's been good. So far, it's been decent. Uh, I'm still at this area next to the quarry, but uh, I got my camera in my car right now. I'm gonna set this last intention. All right, so thank you, Hat Man. Found me that cool owl. Uh, Try and find one more. The thing is, is, a lot of people didn't leave comments on this one. So I'm gonna need you guys to really, really step it up with comments on this uh, on this on this video you're watching right now. Leave me leave me any sort of comment. Doesn't matter what it is. Okay. Hat man. All right. I'm gonna use uh, uh, I'm gonna use um, our friend's intention our guy Kyle Kyle hunting the dead cursed crew our, our guys always leaving us intents always leaving us fire intents so we're gonna use Kyle's intents of Time goes by, so thank you, Kyle. I don't think I have to show you anymore, but I'm going to anyways. You know who you are. Thank you for always dropping those intentions, Kyle. Thank you for always leaving the comments. I always look forward to seeing your comment, so keep it up, man. I appreciate you. All right, so uh, let's say, what I say? Time goes by? Is that what I wanted to do? Now, you know what? I don't, let's do something a little bit. Let's do something a little bit, a little bit crazier for nighttime. Let's do, uh, the cry in the forest. Yeah, I like that one. Let's do the cry in the forest. Yeah, dude, that's, that's some creepy stuff too. The cry in the forest. Cry in the forest. The cry in the forest. Dude, this is going to be good. I can already tell. The cry in the forest. All right, we got one. And dude, what do you what do you what do you know? It is in a forest. Excuse me. It is in a forest. All right, guys, let's run it. Let's do it. I need to get this stuff done before it gets too late cuz then I start getting really scared and I'll 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 leave and, and not finish my my intentions. So Let's do it. Let's go find out what the cry in the forest is. All right, we are officially out in like creepy territory. Excuse me. Oh. Yeah, we're officially out away from the city, away from. many signs of life we're on the creepy territory and it's saying it's saying my intents like right over there somewhere somewhere over here it's like they just mowed all this guys I I'm not <laughs> I'm not feeling it right now. I am not feeling it right now. This is not my vibe. I was doing good up until this point. Come 
Moon's looking all creepy, bro. And I think our intent was what? Cry in the forest? Yeah, cry in the forest. Yeah, this straight up is not a vibe. <laughs> this is straight up not a vibe. Oh man. There's, dude, there's nothing out here. There's nothing, dude. There, I don't see anything that could be an intent. And I, what I've learned from doing Randonautica is if there's nothing out here that can be an intent, the intent is you. Somebody's coming after you. Yeah, the, dude, I literally do not see anything. There's not even trash around, man. Cry in the forest, okay. All right. I'm gonna make one more pass over this, this mode, uh, this mode patch that I ran across. If I don't see anything, I'm out. Thank you, Kyle. big shout out to Kyle though, for real. Always send me creepy intentions for sure. That's what I like. Even though I don't like it right now, I know you guys are probably loving this creepy stuff. There's one, there's one piece of trash there. Right where my foot is, I finally found one. I'm gonna pick it up and throw it away because I always try. I try and, and throw away one piece of trash per Rananautica. You know, it might not be a lot, but at least it's something. So I'll pick up the trash and throw it away. Yeah, I don't see anything, which leads me to believe I'm supposed to be the intention. Where'd that trash go? Should have picked it up right when I saw it. Where was it? There it is. One little piece of trash. That blew out here. Just a piece of paper. Yo, what? What? Bro. Let me get my camera settings right. You guys gotta see this. Dude. What? Yo, how? I'm not tripping, right? That says, that literally says nice car. Right? Nice car. Yo. Bro, what, okay. You know, I'm not even gonna pretend like, oh, what a coincidence. I just got a new car and it's just a nice car. I'm not gonna pretend that this is even a coincidence. Somebody put that out there for me. Somebody 100% put that out there for me. A thousand percent put that out there for me. I don't see anyone. Yo, what's that? Dude, what is that? That's, that's gotta be a stalker. That has to be a stalker, straight up. Like that has to be a stalker. They're leaving me notes like that. Nice car. So they already know what I got. They already know about my new car. That's what they're trying to tell me. They're trying to tell me that they already know about, like I'm driving something different. They already know about it. I literally don't see anyone out here though. Usually by now they would have ran out at me or did something. Yo, what's that? It's the leaves. It literally leaves. I'm freaking out because of leaves now, guys. Bro. Alright, I am gonna get out of here though. I'm not gonna push my luck.
There's no reason to. Alright, I am out of here. Just left the parking lot. And... Yo! Dude, it's the stalker. I knew it! I knew it! Of course, dude, I knew he was gonna show up. <sighs> Great. <sighs> All right, guys, I am just sitting in a parking lot, actually kind of in the middle of a neighborhood, um, waiting to go home. Um, yeah. Uh, so much for that. So much for that. that. That answered my question. That answered my question real quick. I was like, all right, you know, does the stalker know that I have a new car? Does the stalker know that, uh, whatever. And they already know. They literally already know that I have a new vehicle. They already know, like, what to look out for. Dude, it's, it's ridiculous. Dude, it's literally ridiculous. And then not only that, then they put, um... Then they put, you know, like, nice car just to taunt me. Literally just to taunt me. They put that. And... I don't know. When I saw... when Tonight, though, when I saw the stalker, when I saw that stalker on the side of the road, I wasn't, like, scared or anything like that. I was just, like... Like, just in amazement. Like, are you, like, are you serious? Like... Do these people literally have nothing? I mean, they obviously don't have anything better to do. Other than just like, you know, oh, I'm going to intimidate you by being a... Whatever. I'm so dumb. It's literally, it's just literally so stupid. Literally so stupid. So... Yeah, so we're back to, uh... Yeah, back to square one with the stalkers. Go to go. I guess we never left square one, did we? Man. So, yeah. So that's my night, guys. That's the stalkers already know I have a new car. Can't even give me one single night of random nautic in peace. You know, they're already pestering me, already bothering me again. How, dude? Like literally, how do these guys get their information? Like, how do they find out? Oh, you know, he's got a new car. Like how do they how do they figure that out? It's just I don't know, dude. It's bizarre. It's bizarre that it's like this. Um, dude, like seriously, I, I'm out of things to say about it. Like right now, I'm like trying to dig for things to say because I am, I'm guys. I'm I'm out of things to say. I don't know what else that can be said about the situation. Like you know how it is. It's just. It's just ridiculous, dude. Like, even though I see these guys, even though I know, okay, the stalker's probably going to come out. The stalker's probably going to harass me. I don't fear for my safety any less, you know? And the thing that kind of even scares me a little bit more is I'm getting a little bit comfortable with them. Not like in a sense like, oh, let's hang out. In a sense like, okay, if I do run an Nautica, there's a good chance I get to run into a stalker. So I'm, I'm, I'm falling into this this se like sense of security sort of speak and it's it's like I don't want to get complacent because these guys are dangerous these guys are not concerned for my well-being these guys are out to get me like let's not you know mince words let's you know I call an apple an orange you know they've made it very clear that they are willing to hurt me for the smallest little bit of information and, uh, yeah, yeah, it's just, I don't know. I don't know what to think of it, guys. It just, it sucks. It sucks big time. It's like, it's like I literally cannot get like a single night. 
I thought, I thought, okay, you know, I got a new car. They don't know it yet. I'll have one night to go do some regular Antarctica. Nope. Nope. Uh, so that that only that brings it down to one thing. They have tr they're tracking my phone. Like that has to be it. They're tracking my phone. They see what I'm doing. They saw me go to the car dealership and spend hours there. And they you know they, it's easy to put one and one together. Like especially on here because I tell you guys so much. Like oh you know I hate my car. I'm gonna go get a new one. So you know. They, they go there, they have ample time to get there, they see me, they see what I buy, they follow me. <sighs> I don't, like, this is just, see, and that's the thing, is I want to sit here and I say, this is always how it's going to be. And that's what, and that's what I was just talking to you guys about, is that is just getting complacent. Just being like, you know, that's how it's going to always be with stalkers. And I'm just getting complacent. And uh, yeah, it's not good. That'll, that'll end up dangerous. That'll end up that'll end up very bad if I get complacent with this. I don't know, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you uh, what you think about the situation. But I'm done. Um, oh, man, I'm done for tonight. We're done with Randonautica. We'll move on to some more stuff. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw, and I want to I want to say. Um, Guys, sorry that we had to work postpone the meetup. We've been looking for it for looking forward to it for months. Like you guys know, we like I think we announced back in either July or August this meetup, and we're looking forward to it. We had already gotten food stuff for it, and and just like stupid stuff came up. Literally at the last minute. It doesn't have to do with you know filming. It doesn't. Nothing. Nothing bad happened. Like you know, nothing like that. It's just scheduling BS and work and it's just it, dude. It was so dumb. So yeah, we cursed urban meetup. It's gonna happen. Uh, it's postponed. Um, so you guys who were gonna come out, you know, sorry about that. I'll you know hopefully we can make it up to you. Uh, but yeah, it was, uh, next time, next time we're probably going to announce a lot sooner, like a lot closer. So we're like, all right, this is when it is like, not, not like in like two days advance, but like, you know, maybe like a month or so until like three months. So yeah, that was, uh, that sucked. We were mad. We were mad that day because we were like, all right, all right, we're going to figure this out. And then by the end of the day, we're just like, whatever, but. So yeah, uh, there's that. Um, guys, also, uh, I just want to say, uh, if, you, if you could help me out, guys, if you like this video, please blow it up. Please blow this video up. Um, I'll be straight up with you. I'll be straight up with you guys right now. A lot, a lot of people aren't doing Randonautica anymore, and a lot of the reason is because the videos, you know, nobody's, wa nobody's watching the Randonauticas anymore, like straight up. Nobody's watching the Randonauticas anymore, so there's less and less of a demand for creators to keep, you know, to keep going out there doing Randonauticas, you know, dealing with stalkers, you know, this and that. Um, you know, people like, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like be like, this is why this guy quit dropping or quit doing Randonautica. This is why this guy, because I don't know their stories, but from what I can tell. A lot of a lot of creators are dropping Randonautica because you know it's too dangerous, and honestly, it's you know people aren't interested in it, in it anymore, um, and that's kind of how I'm starting to feel about these videos. Uh, I, I, I I'm kind of getting the impression that you know that nobody really you know they you don't like not you personally but like people don't really care about Randonautica anymore. So you know it is what it is. You know trends come and go on YouTube. That's how it is. Uh, but guys, if you do like these Randonautica videos, you know, me going out on these adventures, seriously, please, 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 please leave me a like, leave me a comment, share the video, blow this video up. Let me know, like, Dan, we like these videos. We want you to keep doing this. Um, and I will, I will, I will keep doing Randonautica. You know, I like doing Randonautica. You know, it's fun. Well, most of the time, like this is fun. I found a cool ring. Dope. Um, some of the other stuff isn't fun, but 
please, guys, yeah, if, if you like this video, please blow it up. Please let me know um, through the comments, through the likes, through the shares. Let me know that you like this video, you know, and I'll, I'll keep doing it. I'll, I will keep making them. Um, I'll keep going out there because I, I also want to solve this whole thing that we're on. Other than that, uh, I think that's about all there is to say. We got we got new Rand Nauticas coming this week, 100%. I'm bringing out new Rand Nauticas this week. Um, I also got a brand new series that's coming out on this channel, probably by the end of the week. Um, also, Paranormal Investigation, and also a brand new Cursed Urban Dark Web. Guys, if you haven't seen our Cursed Urban Dark Web, if you haven't seen our Cursed Urban Dark Web channel, there we go. Make sure to check it out. Link is in the description. Also, guys, I have another channel I just started. If you guys like horror narration videos, if you like listening to scary stories, check out my personal channel called Night Shift. I narrate scary stories. Link for that will also be in the description. It has nothing to do with Cursed Urban, so don't expect to see Cursed Urban related things on there. It's me simply just telling stories of, like, you know, a picture, you know, front. I'll be like, oh, one night the ghost was hungry and went down to the fridge and I woke up and ran out of the house. And, you know, scary stories like that. And maybe a little bit better than that, but still, um, check that out. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for liking. Thank you guys for subscribing. Big, massive shout out to our patrons and our YouTube channel members. You guys made today's video possible. And uh, I will see you very soon. I'm going to be dropping another random nautica. I'm going to be dropping our new series. I'm going to be dropping a lot of stuff this week. A lot of videos are coming this week. They have to be. Um, yeah, let's run it. Let's do it. Let's get let's get these videos up. Guys, show this video some love, please. I'm begging you. <laughs> I'm not to that point yet, but please show this video some love. Let me know that you like this random nauticas. Guys, as I like to say, have a good night or day, wherever you're at, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.